fire occurs in various scale and uh, time, uh, most of them are related, if not all, are related with human activities in converting land for more productive activities like agriculture, plantations, etc. And the use of fire is the cheapest way to remove all this woody debris, residues, to clear the land before the new activities is taking place. And uh, of course, it will cause a lot of problem, especially if it produces haze. And certainly, the emission of greenhouse gas occur at the same time. So we need to uh, carefully uh, quantify this. Uh, if land use is being part of the way to reduce emission, land use and land use change is very uh, big contributor in Indonesian emission. So it has to be factor in in the accounting of greenhouse gas emission. So the haze uh, occur, as I said, in the wrong time, in the wrong place. And this is the place where economic activities is, you know, very, very high and very much affected. So it's, it's got to the attention of media very easily. If it blows towards the Indian Ocean, the story will be different. With high credibility, you will have a good estimate of your emission because uh, the emission factor and activity data are more accurate. But to do that, it is expensive. Uh, you have to employ better equipment, better estimate of those two things. And uh, of course, the, the, uh, the cost is higher and it might disincentify your effort. Well, looking at the, the magnitude of the emission from land use, uh, this is a low-hanging fruit, meaning that the, the government can do it uh, relatively easily and quicker um, in order to meet the target of emission reduction. So that, that's one thing that needs to be uh, realized so that everybody is encouraged to do that. You know, doing simple thing, and, but big thing, and really significant to reduce emission. The main, the main contributor is from pitland and is enhanced so much by fire. Because if you're talking about emission from land use, from above ground biomass removal is only one fifth of fire emission. One single fire can emit five, six times higher than vegetation emission. Well, the fire this year is very interesting because it does not happen in the El Nino year, meaning that somebody somewhere is doing something and employ fire to, to clear the land, even if it is not very dry season. In order to burn it easily, uh, people wait until the weather is dry. The uh, material to be burned is dry enough, so it's easy to, to get rid of it. But if it is not that dry, there must be something that drives them to burn, meaning that, uh, I don't know, maybe the market is very attractive to quickly plant you know, any uh, agricultural crops to quickly producing the, the commodity to meet the demand of the market. Because people tend to think that all fire are accidental, it's uh, driven by something which is biophysical. Uh, market drives this a lot. And uh, the activities on the ground is much more complex than what we thought. <laughs>